Amy Medford with Medford Knife and Tool. Knives on the table today are for Jay at Challenge Coin. He is local here in Arizona. Let's see. I have no address, which leads me to believe he's not brick and mortar. That's okay. He, you know what, he usually swings by and picks up his product or Lindsay drops it off in person. But his website is challengecoinusa.com, so you can find him that way. His number is 928 202 0992. Before we dive into the knives on the table, we've got, oh, good, good, good. Um, I've got a description here of two of the fixed blades I have on the table. These are two EODs that came through after a large order that we, um, that we delivered to him already. And these are EOD knives that have a very specific, I'm going to read it to you here. He has um, the EOD uh, symbol stamped on the blade as opposed to the USMC um, the Eagle Globe and Anchor the EGA so that is not on here these are unique so if you're a bomb detonance kind of guy and you want something with that symbol on there he has some in stock already and I'll show you what I have on the table today so you can see what it looks like um, he sells challenge coins patches lapel pins plaques and Medford knives um, let's see that's about it so Jay's a local guy Let's support our local guy here, and let me show you what the EODs look like. Just like our other EODs, they are made of CPM3V. There's the MKT stamp, and there's the EOD1 that denotes the type of blade it is, uh, knife it is, and there's the um, and there is the brand for the detonance logo. You'll notice when you look at the EOD knife, I don't bring this up all the time, but it's got a sharpened edge that ends right at this little choil here, this little uh, notch that's carved out. The reason for that is this is a blunt edge tool for prying and probing down into the ground for locating mines, okay? And obviously we need the sharpened edge, but we need a clean transition from the sharpened edge to the blunt tip. And so that's what this little choil was created for. So there was a clean transition. We have saw teeth on the back for cutting rope, paracord, you name it. We have a hole for a carabiner so you can push that through there um, and a screwdriver. So this is a, an awesome multi-tool for the field, whether you're a bomb detonance guy or not. Titanium hammer plates. It has G10 handles molded and hand formed. These are just very silky smooth. It's a nice ergonomic feel. We have one in coyote tan and one in black headed his way. And he has in stock both black and tan and OD. So reach out to Jay if you're looking for an EOD knife and you maybe don't want the USMC EGA on it. We have a couple of the M48s headed his way, tumbled and blue with tumbled spring and standard hardware and clip. PVD, um, this is our Dijon yellow with PVD breaker, I'm sorry, not breaker, spring and clip and hardware. And then the last one here is PVD and hunter green. So that's a very, very deep hunter green and everything else is blackout. So three M48s. And then interestingly enough, Jay loves the TFF1 and he loves the stained glass. And these have very subtle differences between the three. The first one here is, has a blue undertone with brushed bronze. It has bronze hardware. So you can definitely see it's got kind of an icy blue undertone and it's bead blasted. So when you look at the side of the clip, that clip is bead blasted blue with brushed bronze flats. So that's a cool blue and bronze two-tone. This one here is all bronze, same, uh, same sculpting. So stained glass sculpting with flamed hardware and a brushed and flamed clip and all bronze stained glass. The last one is a violet undertone with bronze flats. So a very subtle difference, but it is noticeable. And if you have a very specific um, desire for certain colors on your knife, you have three to pick from here. All three sport an S35 Vulcan blade, and they are all the TFF1, which is the slimmest of the three TFF series knives that we make. We make the Fat Daddy, which is the fattest version of them all. It has the same dimensions of, and when I say dimensions, I mean thickness, as the Praetorian tie does. So 0 0.260 inch thick blade and 0 0.190 inch thick handles. The TFFH, which is something we offered in the interim, that's a hybrid, just like the Marauder H is a hybrid. And these, all three of these have the same overall length. So if you laid them down, uh, flat down on a table, you wouldn't be able to notice a difference. The clip is the same, the overall length is the same. TFFH has the um, fat handles and the slimmer blade. So it has a 0 0.190 inch thick blade 
with 0.187 thick handles. And then the TFF1 has the super slim blade. I'll show you. So slim blade and even slimmer handles. So the handles on the TFF1 are the slimmest of them all. The price point on these is, in my opinion, unbeatable. For the size of knife that you get, the price is fantastic. So you add the sculpting in, and now you have a knife that looks like a fat daddy for the price of a TFF1, which is super cool. So reach out to Jay at Challenge Coin. I gave you the number, I gave you the website address, or just look it up on the website, see what you can find out, and check those out. Keep watching the videos, and until the next time, peace.